A team of USGS scientists were sent to Red Lake, Minnesota to live trap and tag endangered timber wolves. After a week, they failed to report in. A tribal search party scoured the mountain forests, but found only one scientist, Gaelic Ross, suffering from hypothermia and temporarily blind. Gaelic demands answers. Why is he here? Why the handcuffs? The doc informs him he was found naked on the mountain. His eyes were glued shut with a compound of tree sap and clay loam. The reason he's handcuffed is police business. The tribal sheriff gets Gaelic's story. The scientists were on assignment to collar gray wolves with GPS. They entered the forest, set up camp. Gaelic doesn't remember anything after. The sheriff inquires to how many women were on the team. There were two. An x-ray revealed a gruesome discovery in Gaelic's stomach. A woman's fingers, painted nails and all. Gaelic is horrified. The victim's fingers didn't appear to have been chewed, but instead force-fed down Gaelic's throat while he was unconscious. The doc was only able to extract one. He suggests Gaelic stick around until the remaining digits successfully pass. Gaelic's ready to leave, but something's wrong. The doc recovered new digits from Gaelic's stomach. This time, they belonged to a man, and they were ingested within the last five hours. Plus, the meat was fresh. The victim was alive. The sheriff studies security footage from the night before, but finds nothing unusual. The sheriff informs Gaelic he believes the missing scientists are being kept alive, hidden somewhere nearby. He shares the story of an illness called Wendigo Psychosis, where people get a craving for human flesh. It started with the Indians long ago, but mostly faded away once they started interacting with civilized society. 
He's convinced someone is acting out an ancient Wendigo ritual, and Gaelic is the victim. But the sheriff has a plan. They'll save Gaelic's team and capture the perpetrator. He explains the ritual requires three days of feasting on human flesh, which means the person must return tonight. And when they do, the sheriff and his entire department will be there to catch them. Gaelic has little choice but to go along. Gaelic cries out for the sheriff, but he's nowhere to be found. Native Americans describe the Wendigo as a beast with a heart of ice, missing lips, and jagged teeth. Its breath, a strange hiss, its footprints full of blood, and it eats any man, woman, or child who ventures into its territory. Imagine the world if these monsters weren't kept in check. The Great Alpha Wendigo of the North keeps its population under control. Without it, mankind would be under constant threat. But even the Alpha can't live forever. Someone must take its place. The Sheriff understands this. Gaelic's sacrifice, while horrific, is a small price to stave off the Wendigo apocalypse. 